guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, we want to talk about how we can uh, capture a live streaming from our application, game, or simulator from any uh, platform in PC, Android, Quest, or anything else, and uh, display it as a live video in a specific streamer such as Facebook. Uh, YouTube or even your website as a streamer if it already has the uh, structure of the live streaming okay let's figure out how we can do it for doing that first we need to have this um, plugin which is you can uh, buy it from assetstorionet.com uh, video capture pro and as you can see it is very a uh, reasonable uh, number for the price and you make sure your unity version must be 5.6.0 or higher in fact it is really uh, good for this plugin uh, which is you can install it on any version of unity the newest versions and as far as you can see in here in the features you can capture videos from any camera you want and capture audio and also you can live streaming to remote streaming service such as YouTube Facebook or anything else today we want to talk about this option of this plugin after you buy it and download it and import it to your unity project uh, you can come here and you'll see overall uh, video captures demos and scenes in here you can see all the uh, examples in the last one you have demo 12 live streaming okay it is the default uh, scene of the live streaming and it has a simple main camera and it has the uh, you know uh, default audio for uh, you know our test to be sure it's sharing the audio between uh, unity application and a streamer and also we have a rotator cube which is just rotating around itself and display time it's, uh, you know once you want to open a plate you will see the UI in here uh, let's not do it something like that and display time it's here it's date and timer and also the last one is the video capture in the video capture I propose to don't change the default options but uh, if you think your internet or other customers internet cannot support this uh, the high quality you can change the resolution of your video which you want to uh, stream and even in here you can say okay just a screen or a specific angle of a specific camera or even the render texture in here for example I said okay just camera and which camera this one which has the tag main camera so uh, remember uh, when you want to share the screen the UI will not shareable uh, just the screen without UI and the final part let's come back to the tutorial of this plugin which you can download it and uh, once you download it you can uh, see it in your project assets we have video capture in here and uh, this part you can go to this page page 19 live streaming capture in here uh, you should have the uh, for example uh, we have uh, we want to test it on YouTube first you need to have the uh, YouTube channel and after that you should come to the live at this part but remember uh, because I already done it uh, it is uh, at, you know open for me but for the new users it's not open you should verify your account with your mobile phone number and after 24 hours you have access to this page and you can stream your video on your YouTube channel so uh, we can uh, we assume that we already you already have your uh, verified and you know open account in your YouTube channel in here 
you have to, uh, your title you can change whatever you want you can even say okay it's public or you know what uh, whoever you want you, and they can see that your uh, live streaming and it says okay it's made for kids or not or even the category of your live and anything else exactly like uh, options you want to uh, publish a video on your YouTube channel but the difference is in here it's uh, demonstrate how we can uh, stream a video it is in the different uh, streamer but for example uh, we can imagine it is YouTube first part uh, you should have your stream URL okay and you can see it is your stream URL all right first you will copy this uh, variable in here this URL in here okay and the temp uh, the tutorial says okay after that you need should you need to have the uh, slash in here backslash and um, paste the stream key this is the name and uh, the number of stream key for example my stream key is this guy okay and I copy this part and I add backslash in here and paste here now I have my URL of my live okay now I copy this URL the full URL and I come back to the unity I return uh, stop the game and in here we have a variable which called live stream URL and I remove the default one and I paste my URL here okay and I save the game now I just play the scene and I start the capture okay and I wait in this part perfect it is my scene it is live look at this if I change my uh, cube to for example here okay and I came back to my live after a few seconds because it's uh, reasonable to have some few seconds as a delay between the live streamer and you know the application it's it seems it's too far away I'll let me push it put it back in the middle of the screen and come back to the live okay should stay until we will have the new frames from the streamer that's it excellent now you can uh, you know capture a live streaming and I'll even if you want to stop just to stop the uh, capturing and that's it and after a few seconds you will see the impact in this part and it's stop no data from the stream it is perfect it is exactly that thing we want and finally we can stop the game and end the stream do you want to end yes that's it it is exactly that thing you, we need for live streaming for example on YouTube you can do it just you should have uh, this stream URL and this stream key and combine them together as a one URL first stream URL and second part is a stream key exactly like this format okay i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you don't forget to subscribe my channel and um, don't hesitate to ask any question related to unity ar vr and xr and like this video if you like it
Have a great time. Bye-bye.